What's up everybody? It is a rainy day here in Maui, so I figured I'd take advantage of the day and show you how to skirt trolling lures. So this applies to any trolling lure, but these are Plumbuses. These are my lures and they are the best on earth. So here we have a Plumbus HS 21 ounce. That's high speed, solid lead head. Both of them ooh, are solid lead heads. This is a Plumbus X 9.5 ounce with the appropriate skirts. So the 21 ounce gets Blue, Blue Ocean Manufacturing number 402s, and the 9.5 gets Blue Ocean uh, number 302s. You're also gonna need scissors, uh, wax floss. You can use 30 pound, I like 70, um, and then hand sanitizer. I'll show you why later. All right, so you got your lure, you got your skirts, you got your wax floss, you're ready to go. So you notice these little baffles back here. There should always be two, There some may even have three of these baffles for triple skirting, but you always want to at least double skirt your lures. So this back one is for the underskirt. I'm gonna use this green one for the underskirt and you see there's a back on it, or a dark side and a light side. I like to make the dark side on the back. You can see the lure is also like that. We have pink on the belly and purple on the back. So this one, you cut a little differently than the top skirt. We want to cut it right along, right about there. Right about there. So you take and put it over the end. It takes a little bit of finagling. So it's there. But we want to push it up just a little bit further onto that second baffle temporarily. Takes a little bit of extra finagling. There we go. All right, so we got the dark side, dark side, and it's up on that second baffle. Good. So now we're going to take about two and a half, three feet of this wax floss. And now you take, and with your middle finger, we'll say maybe like a five inch section right here. Take with your middle finger and do a few wraps like that. So we have this twisted section. Now you take that and we're gonna put it, this is maybe not the easiest thing to film. So we're gonna clip or clamp it down with your thumb like this and ensuring that the tail end is just free and now we're going to wrap twice loosely and now you want to cinch it down pretty tight and you keep doing that a couple wraps cinch it down a couple wraps cinch it down Woo. okay so now the side that I was wrapping around, we're gonna take and run that through the loop that my middle finger was holding onto, like this. Pull it on up. And now we're gonna pull this tag and they will cinch together as a nice clean, see if we can get it to focus there. Eh, not really. That's okay. All right, so I'm gonna cinch that down extra tight and then do a square knot on top of that just to hold everything down. So we have this little excess. I'm gonna trim that off. Not too bad, eh? So we don't want there to be a lot of this um, excess underskirt poking over or you're gonna have kind of a hump. Uh, when you put the uh, the top skirt on. Speaking of the top skirt, here we go. Now remember the bottom skirt we cut right about here. The top skirt we cut right about here. Just a little north of the roundest section of the little egg shaped head. And we'll cut it just like that. Now we flip this skirt inside out, very important. And this is where the hand sanitizer comes in. 
Ooh, is it hand sanitizer? Take it, drip a little drop up in there. Good. Rub it around. So the reason I'm using hand sanitizer is as a lubricant. Some people use WD-40, some people use 303, some people use spit. I don't like using any of those. I like to use hand sanitizer because it's grippy on your hands, but slippery for everything else. So we're slipping it on, nose first. See how easy that was to slide on? Ensuring that the blue side, the dark side is on top, pink side is on the bottom. Get a little bit of overlap there, that looks good. Now we're gonna take another section of wax floss and wrap it around right there. Same length, three feet, whatever. Something like that. Same procedure here, middle finger, wrap a few times. Now while holding the head section here, we're wrapping. Same procedure. Cinch. We want it to be pretty tight. You don't want these skirts to slip off for any reason. Cinch. Okay. Now. looking good it's always good I didn't tell you it's always good before you cinch this down double triple check make sure if there's a lateral line on the skirt make sure it corresponds exactly to the center of the eye right there otherwise it's not going to be lined up properly so I'm going to tie my square knot if you don't know how to tie a square knot you should probably learn useful knot snip off the excess so we're still in this phase here. We're gonna flip it. There we go. So you can see that underskirt's a little bit longer than the overskirt. So we'll take and give it a little haircut here. Not doing anything on camera, am I? All right, there we go. So that's a properly skirted lure. Not gonna come apart. Ready to be trolled. This lure can be trolled up to about 16 knots. You can troll it even faster if you use an inline, inline trolling weight in front of it, but um, this thing's ready for cruising. Good luck, everybody.